Thanks. Welcome back to the foodie part of the six o'clock show. Now, as part of Virgin Media's Connections for Good programme, we're shining a spotlight on the importance of well-being. Uh, tonight, Ashing Larkin is serving up some food for thought when it comes to the nourishing benefits of mindful eating. Uh, tell us more, Ashling. What is mindful eating? Hi, guys. Um, really simply, it's about bringing an awareness um, to what you're doing. So, like, be present in the moment, in the now. So be it that that's the cooking, the, you know, cutting the tomatoes or the cooking the bacon or the stirring. So you're, you're actually present on, on every little step that you're doing, but also on the eating, because so often, like, we're mindlessly grazing. We're running around, we're grabbing stuff, we're in the front of the car, we're, you know, on the go, we're standing at the fridge with the door open, we're eating. So we're, we're mindlessly eating and we're not getting enough satisfaction from the food we're eating because we're not even acknowledging or registering what we're actually eating. So it's about savoring the moment and just slowing down and actually enjoying the cooking process, but enjoying the food that you're eating. So it's about the focus, but it's also then about just creating a little bit of space in your mind because we are so busy with emails and phone calls and meetings and did I put on the washing? Did I take the dog for a walk? Did you ring the dentist? Who did this? And we don't even have time to feel and hear what our body is telling us. And actually, if we tune into what our body is telling us, like how often do you eat when you're actually not physically hungry? Um, so it's about all of those things. So tonight, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a beautiful salad. This is a real kind of retro Californian style salad. So it's a cob salad, but it has so much flavor and so much texture and so much color. And that's, I suppose, another part of mindful eating is all of those things, that multi-sensoriness just focuses your mind a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you with each simple ingredient, how you get the maximum flavor out of each natural simple ingredient. And even go back to what Maya was saying earlier, just a little bit about the sustainability. Like it's, it's that, it's been focused on the world as well and being conscious of all of those things and stripping it back to kind of like what our grandparents and our great grandparents did and how they ate. And this salad is a lovely representation of that. So we've got a couple of steps to it. Um, the first one is chicken. So we've got chicken, bacon, hard boiled eggs, avocado. We've got loads of great stuff. Chicken. Traditionally, you would like for a salad like this, you would poach chicken. Um, but poaching chicken doesn't add any flavor. It keeps it soft. So you want to get all that flavor. So what I have is a little bit of oil and a little bit of butter. So the butter and gives it extra flavor, but it also gives it that golden brown color. Then we eat with our eyes. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with just a tiny little bit of smoked paprika, a tiny little bit of turmeric. So turmeric is like this natural um, colorant, like a, it's natural food colorant, and it just adds a lovely golden yellow color. So that chicken gets ready, right? It goes in the oven, and then this is what it looks like when it's cooked. So you can see almost like that charred, kind of golden effect, okay? And that's what you want because there's so much flavor. When you roast food, you get in so much more flavor than when you poach it. So each element is about getting in lots and lots of flavor. And this salad is gorgeous because it's so, like for sharing, this is like sharing food, you know? Okay. So I'm just gonna slice up the chicken, have that ready, and then I have the bacon. Now, who doesn't love crispy bacon? I mean, come on, crispy bacon is just it. So when you're choosing bacon, rather than having ham or like just a rasher, I chose streaky bacon and then smoked streaky bacon and then grilled smoked <laughs> streaky bacon until you get it to this where it's like, look, yeah. it's snapping, it's crunching. Like that's how you want your bacon cooked. You want it really, really crispy, okay? So again, when I, you know me, I talk about this umami all the time, which is this, depth of savory flavor. And there's a difference, as I say, between being full and actually leaving the table going, oh my God, that was delicious. And we sometimes think salads are like, you know, cold iceberg lettuce and a bit of old tomato and cold cucumber. And like that immediately puts your head into this place of, oh, it's not going to be nice. I'm not going to enjoy it. And you feel kind of restricted. Whereas mindful eating is just about listening to what your body wants and actually really nourishing it. Yes. Um, so talking of tomatoes, I have used these gorgeous tomatoes. Like, look at them. They're just beautiful. So what I've done, and this is such a top tip for tomatoes, never eat tomatoes cold out of the fridge. So chop them up. And just about an hour ago, I put sea salt on them and olive oil and bring them to room temperature because the seeds and tomatoes have so much umami. So you, again, you're bringing out all that flavor. So there's such incredible flavor in all of these ingredients that we're using. And it's just about knowing how to bring the flavor out and creating a dish that's like amazingly tasty. So I'm gonna start assembling some of the bits, right? Just so you can see it all come together. So I love sharing food and sharing platters. And I just think 
salads are one of those things. And we will. We'll get back to garden parties and family events. And this is lovely because you can spread it out and everybody kind of comes together and you've got that social connection, which I think we really need as well. So I'm going to layer my salad on the bottom. And I have some lovely, these are organic leaves that grow about 10 kilometers away, less probably than from where I live. And I go to my greengrocers and I get them and they are just like, they're amazing. So again, that freshness and that quality, that connection with like your local seasonal ingredients, that's all part of like mindfully eating and being respectful of the ingredients. And I suppose being grateful, a little bit of gratitude, being so grateful for the food that we have in front of us in that moment. So I'm spreading out all my salad leaves right nice and big then i've got my tomatoes so i'm going to sprinkle and this is just sprinkling and kind of assembling so you've got a little bit of everything going on because sometimes when we eat as i said we eat when we're not hungry and um, and we're triggered and particularly with covid and lockdown i mean we've had so many different triggers like working from home you're looking at a presentation all day you are so bored you want to just escape or there's a little bit of procrastination you're dreading going back to the laptop and you think, you know what, I'll put on the kettle, I'll have a cup of tea and two chocolate biscuits. And actually, maybe you weren't hungry. If you had to do something else instead and then sit down when you feel physically hungry and eat, you get more satisfaction from your food. So again, that's all part of the, the mindful eating, okay? But if you're doing that, actually, you know, the fact yeah. is, is that people are, people are going to do that. They're going to eat when they're bored. It's, we all do it. Yeah. So is there something that you could kind of recommend and go have this in the fridge, in the press, Go for this rather than the pack of chocolate biscuits. Yeah, there's loads of things. I mean, protein, like trying to get protein in. Protein will keep you fuller for longer, right? But I mean, if you like chocolate, maybe have your dark chocolate, but make like kind of like a, a nutty flapjack, um, you know, with a little bit of dark chocolate in it. Or have a bowl of Greek yogurt that's full of protein and maybe have some yes. lovely fresh strawberries and berries on top. So it's about having food that tastes delicious. But actually then sit down, don't bring it back down to the laptop and eat it in front of the laptop mindlessly. Sit and give yourself, you deserve five minutes to sit and eat it in peace and enjoy it. But, so but it's those kind of things that are really, really, really important. Just as you're putting on the bacon there, um, the, the, if we eat mindfully, we're, are we more likely to eat less? Yes, that's the whole thing. You're giving your brain, you're giving your gut a chance to register that actually food has gone in here. I feel full. I don't need to eat anymore. The slower you chew your food and the more you chew your food, you release all these volatiles or chemicals that go into your brain that tell your brain, mm, oh my God, that was delicious. Oh, I ate that. So it gives you that sense of, as I said, satiety is different to fullness. Fullness is, oh, my belly feels full. I'm very bloated. Versus you leave the table going, Mm, that was delicious. Yeah, so I don't need was just enough. to come back Fully and have the sated. cup of tea afterwards. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've got about exactly. 30 seconds here, exactly. Ashley. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm layering in my chicken. I have my eggs. Then I have my beautiful blue cheese that I'm going to crumble in. So you've got in this salad, you've got tangy, you've got creamy, you've got smooth, you've got salty, you've got crunchy. So you've got all those multi-sensory elements that go together. So, so lovely. And then really quickly for my salad dressing, it is red wine vinegar. It is olive oil. It is Italian herbs. So it's dried Ash herbs. Ashley, it's we're going bit... to have to that's go. That's okay. That's okay. You basically <laughs> shake it all together and pour it over your salad. And, and off it goes. It's all going to, well done you. It's all going to be up on six eats. I'll put it up on my Instagram as well from Ashling's. Thank that, you, Ashling. Cheers, Ashling. That's all we've got time Bye, for guys. tonight. Thank you.